Straight facts, no chaser. If you've been watching the news, you now know that Donald J. Trump is a convicted felon. 34 felony counts, all guilty. Now, what's the difference between him and Michael Cohen? Cohen has less criminal counts. He's less of a felon than Donald Trump. Now, what you're going to see is all these organizations, OAN, the MAGA Minions, Fox, all coming out, all butthurt, trying to say something's wrong with the law and all this other shit. Uh, what was wrong with the law prior to Donald Trump being charged with something? None of y'all came to the aid of anybody else having problems with the law. People of color have been saying the law has been effed up toward us for freaking centuries. And every time, you motherfuckers backed them up. Said the law was the law, law and order. And when it happens to your orange messiah, all of a sudden the law is no longer the law. So if that's the case, can we open up the prisons and let out everybody? Because the law never worked, right? Nah, see the law works. We may not like the way it turns out, but it works the way we created it to work. If you want to change the law, I'm down with that. Make it less harsh on the poor, middle class, and people of color. Oh, that's not what you want? You just want rich white people to get away with more than they already get away with. What happened here is justice. Finally, somebody rich, wealthy, and powerful has been charged and convicted of crimes they actually fucking committed. And you guys want to tell us something's wrong with the law. Oh, Donald Trump couldn't have did this wrong. What? You said Cohen was guilty for what he did. But the person who asked him to do it is innocent. What is he guilty of? Janine Pirro says. The same shit that Michael Cohen was guilty of. Remember when you said Cohen was a liar and that he got what he deserved? Well, for whom he did it for, just got the exact same thing. But there's something wrong with the law. You guys want it both ways. Never want the motherfucking facts to come out. Always trying to protect your orange messiah, even when it's against the laws of this country. If you want a king, go to Europe. If you want a dictator, go to North Korea. But here, it's a democracy, baby. There's no one above the law. Everyone can get it, as you can see, even Donald Trump. If anything, what just happened here was to tell Republicans, Democrats, and independents, don't break the fucking laws. Because no matter whether you have an R behind your name, a D, or an I, you can fucking get it. Don't break the law, and therefore you won't have any problems. This right here was a message not only to Republicans, to Democrats in the future who may have some dreams of grandeur of being a dictator. I'm not saying that's a reality right now. We don't know about the future. But this sets precedent that none of y'all motherfuckers should try this shit. Because if you do, you too can get your ass convicted. You're not above the law. And that's what scares you motherfuckers. That's why you're trying to turn the law upside down. Because it's finally doing what it's supposed to do all the time. Everybody is supposed to be treated equally. And y'all just now seeing... The law actually fucking work. Yes, we know it still needs to be fixed because what happened here wouldn't have happened to anybody else. You wouldn't have had all these opportunities to be able to say, oh, I'm going to appeal this and I may not ever go to jail because I'm going to appeal until I fucking die. Nobody would be able to do that shit. But Donald Trump and rich people. What we should be able to do is make it so that you can appeal for free. Why? because you're allowing rich people to appeal forever and then poor people can't appeal because they don't have the lawyers to do so. That's an injustice within itself. If he has access to appeal forever in a day, the average person without the money should be able to have the same access to appeal all the way to forever. And I know what you're gonna say, we have nobody in prison. Well, then that must be the case then because if you allow a rich person to do it for eternity, poor people should not be punished because they don't have a rich daddy. Then we can work on the laws. But see, you don't want to work on that part. You just want to work on the part that helps you get away with shit when you have wealth, when you have power. And that's not what most Americans want. We want everybody to be held accountable for their actions. In America, no one is above the law. Even if you want them to be, it should not be a thing. We all should have the same access to be able to defend ourselves, not because of our economics, but because we're all Americans. Point blank, period. I speak facts. Straight facts. No chaser. Fuck your feelings.